Biden expected to meet with Ukrainian refugees during his trip to Poland amid Russia's invasion of Ukraine. You're watching the moment that he arrived in Warsaw this afternoon. The president has committed to accepting 100,000 Ukrainian refugees into the U.S. Some of those refugees will likely end up here in Georgia. CBS 46's Zach Summers live in Atlanta with how local refugee groups. Zach, they are already starting to prepare. Sean, you know, on average, Georgia welcomes between two and 3,000 refugees every year. And there's a large network of organizations across Metro Atlanta that support their path to self-sufficiency. We stand ready to welcome people. Justin Howell is the executive director for the International Rescue Committee, the largest of four private refugee resettlement agencies in the state of Georgia. On average, we welcome about half of all the refugees that come into the state. The nonprofit helps refugees find jobs, open businesses, and enroll their kids into schools. Last fall, when American troops pulled out of Afghanistan and the U.S. welcomed some 70,000 evacuees, the IRC resettled 800 of those refugees here in Georgia. Howell expects to process a comparative number of Ukrainian refugees. We won't necessarily see a large influx in the immediate uh, term. So we're, we're, we're probably talking months rather than, you know, days or weeks. What we do is really a picture of Atlanta. Kendra Jeffries is the executive director at Friends of Refugees in Clarkston, a community often referred to as the most diverse square mile in America. The nonprofit helps refugees during post resettlement. If you can imagine coming to a country where you don't know the language or the culture, typically, you need help for longer than three to eight months. So what we do is we come alongside people after that time period to really help them. While it's unclear how or when the U.S. will allow at least 100,000 Ukrainian refugees into the country, local agencies charged with getting them acclimated to the United States say they're ready. Yeah, here's the thing. The resettlement of the Afghan refugees, that was an expedited process. It's unclear if that will happen with the Ukrainian refugees. We do know that uh, among the first to come to the United States will be refugees with family already here. The traditional resettlement process can take upwards of 18 months. We're live in Midtown Atlanta. Zach Summer, CBS 46 News.